All right, just want to do another uh, real quick tutorial, another requested tutorial uh, of how to rip DVDs and handbrake. Um, won't get into all the details about whether it's good or bad, but I like to think that if I own the DVD, I can get a digital version to use however I want. Uh, DMCA, you know, pending. But I actually honestly use this a lot for a lot of my DVDs. Uh, that I produce, and if I need to snag it for a digital backup or anything, some, or for other purposes, uh, a lot of times I'll use this. So this is Handbrake, you've installed it, everything's good to go, I'm on a Mac for this, of course. Uh, in this case, uh, first thing you need to look at is your source. Of, of course, if you put your DVD in, especially on a Mac or a PC, it may go ahead and load up a DVD player. Make sure that's closed before you do this. If you leave that DVD player open, it's const constantly uh, accessing that disc. Uh, so turn that off, uh, close the program to make sure uh, it doesn't slow down your process here. And you can get some varied results too if you go ahead and try to uh, render these things off of the disc while it's trying to play somewhere else too. So go over to the upper left here to source. So in this case, we're gonna look for our source DVD. Uh, so we should see our little disc and that looks like the one that I inserted. And you'll see there's these audio and video. You don't need to do anything. You just need to point at this disc here. So I've selected this. It's good. These are the kind of files that it's looking for. Just know that we don't have to get into the DVD details here. So hit open. It's going to scan that source. And you see it's looking at all the titles, all the chapters to let you know what is on that disc. Now be wary here, and we'll see this when it's uh, finished scanning, is you're gonna get under title here a lot of options sometimes. Sometimes you'll see one option, sometimes if it's a disc with a lot of special features, maybe it's a little more than uh, just a movie. Uh, you know, maybe it's like in this case, this is a, a sports DVD, so it may be several matches. Um, so it's good to have an idea of what you're looking for. If you find one thing that's an hour and a half, two hours, and then a bunch of little 10, 15 minute things, and it's a copy of say, um, say The Crow or some other movie like that, you're pretty sure that hour and a half thing is gonna be the thing you're looking for. Uh, so it's gonna be a little bit on you to figure out what that is. You see, we do have a lot of options here. I know in this, our 57 minutes is the main feature that was included on the disc. And again, these are all kind of special features. Um, you're gonna to have to do a little more digging if you want to snag some of those extra features. But if I just want the main movie, the main documentary in this case, we'll go and pick that one. We know it's 57 minutes. So you also have options here. If you just want that entire thing, don't touch any of these. But if you want to go in and play, you can actually select specific chapters out of this main feature for you to, to digitize. And it's going to go ahead, I have my default here. I have going to my desktop and everything. And uh, it, you see it's gonna to default to whatever that disc was named. You can change the name of this, but make sure it ends in whatever it suggests here, in this case, the M4V. Um, that's gonna help you later to make sure it's gonna open up. I don't touch a lot of this stuff in this area here. It's a lot of stuff that, um, you know, even me as a video professional don't really get into that much about profiles and levels and stuff like that. Uh, but one thing I do suggest is to go high profile. You're gonna get a better quality file out of it. Again, we're just looking DVD, so the quality is not gonna be HD or anything like that. So don't be disappointed by the size of the window or how it looks on the full screen. Um, because it, these are still standard definition when we're dealing with DVDs. So again, I've selected high profile over here. If you don't see this window on the right, there's a toggle presets right here, you know, slide in and out. So go ahead and do that. Or if you are specifically making this for say, a certain device, say I am definitely going to an iPad, I am definitely using this for an Apple TV, an Android tablet, you can select something there. But for general all purpose, I like to start with high profile. So we'll go ahead and leave it there. Um, from there, just hit start. And you'll see at the bottom is scanning in the queue. It'll start going and it'll start to give you an estimate of actually how long this is gonna take. That's gonna vary wildly, but at least it gives you kind of an idea. Right now it's telling me it's gonna take about 50 minutes. Um, and I'm on a Core i5 Mac mini at this stage. So there you go. Just 
walk away, make a sandwich, go do something else, watch another movie, and your disc should be good. Uh, a lot of times I'll set these when I'm done at my desk and I know I'm leaving for a while, um, you know, not coming back till the morning or something and just leave them go. Uh, so uh, this is how you use Handbrake and I hope it helps out.